Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports. Sorry, we're getting this NFL video out to you a little bit late. Um, I've said it every video. We've had a crazy schedule lately. Um, but we have six picks for you for week 10. Um, before we break into our picks, uh, just you know, want to remind you that we're running that special with Parlay Play right now. Um, if you use code BACKDOOR when you sign up for Parlay Play, You'll get 100% deposit match up to $100 plus a $5 promo. And right now we're also adding 30 days in our premium discord. When you use code backdoor, uh, you have to use the code or else the uh, discord won't be activated. It takes about 24 hours uh, for parlay play to confirm and then it'll activate the membership to the discord as well. Um, but if you want to take advantage of that, uh, just make sure you use the code backdoor and then email us at bdfantasysports at gmail.com. And then we just need your Discord username, your Parlay Play username. And then after that 24 hours where we confirm with Parlay Play, we'll just get you right into the Discord. Um, also, we are partnered with Underdog. So if you haven't signed up for Underdog yet, use code backdoor for that. And you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash plus a free pick uh, to help you cash your first slip. Um, and then, yeah, any of the, any of our partners that you want to uh, sign up for, we have all the information in the description of the video. If you're looking to diversify and get on some different platforms to make sure you're getting the best value when you're making your slips, um, check that out. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. And um, if you have any questions about any props, just drop us a comment and we'll uh, try to help you figure that out, do a little bit of research with you. And uh, if you guys don't mind, do us a favor and like the video. Uh, it's the best way to support the channel. Uh, it just gets us in front of a larger audience. We're really getting close to that 12,000 subscribers. And um, <clears throat> that's really the best way to help us grow is uh, just liking the video. So we thank you so much. You guys have been killing it. Um, so let's get into these plays. Um, okay, so for me, I'm going to be taking Najee Harris over 66 and a half rushing yards. I'm um, getting that on parlay play. Uh, let's see what I got him at on uh, underdog here. Yeah, 66 and a half. And then prize picks, uh, also 66 and a half. Okay, my next play is going to be Derek Carr fantasy score. Um, 11 and a half. I believe we're getting that on prize picks and parlay play. Then underdog has him at 12.85. I still like the over here. Uh, I don't know what we're talking about, like uh, putting his fantasy score that low, even though he's had like a couple bad weeks. Um, and then my last play is going to be Ray Davis over 1.5 receiving yards. Uh, this is just going to be a matter of him getting one catch, and I believe he'll be able to in this matchup. Um, and we're getting this on uh, all three of the platforms. What are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, I'm going to be going with uh, Calvin Austin for over uh, 21 and a half receiving yards. I'm taking Bryce Young over 11 fantasy score and uh, Jalen Coker for over 5.5 fantasy score. We're getting all of these uh, at the same lines on all platforms as well. So that's always nice to be that. Uh, for, except for Underdog, we're getting his receiving yards for Coker at 31 and a half. That's the only difference for me. But Okay, cool. Well, not a whole lot of you tune into it, but I apologize for us not getting out the fantasy football podcast videos this week like we would have liked to. It's been really tough. Um, we haven't had time to do anything. <laughs> and so um, our picks videos are our flagship show. That's always got to be the priority. Uh, so we just had to uh, put that off. Um, but I know some of you tune into that and uh, some of you support uh, that show as well. So I apologize that we weren't able to get that out for you. But uh, hopefully you can uh, take advantage of some of these picks and they will they will help. And uh, if you're in the Discord, you can always just ask us questions if you have any start sit questions or anything for fantasy. Um, so let's start breaking this down. Najee Harris, they just keep setting his lines low right now. And um, ever since uh, right before Russell Wilson took over, he's just been balling. And uh, he actually started to look better before that game that Russ returned against the Jets. Uh, when we when he played against the the Raiders, um, I actually had faded him that week and we were watching the game and I was like, Najee looks better. He, he looks different. And um, now bringing in Russ, who is like changing the dynamic of this offense. Um, plus, you have Arthur Smith, who is always going to make sure that there's a run heavy option in uh, the, the scheme for the offense. I just I really like him to, to take care of business here. Uh, the matchup is solid against Washington, 28th and rushing yards allowed. And this is going to be uh, 
It's going to be a fun game. You know, uh, the Steelers have an awesome defense and Washington has one of the most explosive offenses in the league. So um, we have a 44 and a half point over under Washington favored by two and a half. And uh, they're playing in Washington. And I just I think that the balance there between the Steelers slowing the Washington commanders down just a little bit. I think it is actually, you know, it's going to be difficult uh, for the commanders, even if they are just this incredible juggernaut of an offense this year. Um, and then uh, also Arthur Smith does not abandon the run game. So even if it is uh, turns into a shootout, he's going to balance that offense out with some uh, with some heavy rushing yards. Um, so rush attempts. He's uh, he's averaging 16.2 per game um, in that uh, game against Las Vegas. He went for 106 yards on just 14 carries. And then against the Jets, who had a hobbled defense that game, they just looked awful. Uh, so it's not like he just ran all over the Jets at full strength. But still, 21 carries, um, even when they had um, the lead, they were still keeping a balanced attack uh, when you would think that he would just be running the clock. It was like they were still just like letting Russ cook. So uh, I think we can count on this offense to be pretty uh, predictable. Um, and they're I think they're continuing to see what they've got here uh, to prepare for uh, this playoff push that they're inevitably going to be making. So, um, yeah, just getting everyone acclimated, keeping that balanced offense. I, I'm going to keep taking this until uh, I mean, until they start bumping this lineup. Uh, so yeah. And then last week against, um, uh, the giants, uh, 19 carries 114 yards and the giants are no slouch, uh, on defense. Uh, they have a pretty, uh, a pretty tough defensive line there. So, uh, I love this matchup again, 28th and rushing yards allowed. That one's pretty simple. I'm going to be taking this. I already have it locked into slips. Uh, I, I locked this in days ago. Um, so Carr here, uh, his fantasy score is just insulting. Like I get it. Like he he had a couple of uh, bad weeks here, and um, you know he's seeming to be back to a hundred percent. We have no more Dennis Allen. A lot of times when a head coach is not putting things together well, and you know the head coach gets fired, a lot of times that's actually really good for the morale of the team, and they sort of uh, get a little spark there, and uh, it just feels like whatever whatever weird chemistry was going on, like, um, you know, decisions were made and uh, Dennis Allen is out. And so Carr at 11 and a half, it's like, I just, I can't pass this up. Uh, I'm gonna be taking his fantasy score over here. You can see there's only two games. Uh, let's go to just 2024. Um, yeah, so he's only played six games and two of those were were bad outings. Uh, but other than that, he's he's cashed it. And if we uh, go back here to 2023, it's just like we know what he's capable of when this offense starts to click. We know uh, Alvin Kamara uh, is is pretty heavy in the past game as well. So let's take a look at the injury report real fast. Um, obviously, the main thing that he's missing is Rashid Shahid. Uh, so Kendra Miller back to injury reserve. That sucks. Chris Olave um, is back to injury reserve as of 10 hours ago. Um, but we do know that Taysom Hill is good to go, who isn't going to be like heavily involved in the passing game, but he does add a lot uh, to helping this offense move. So go with your gut. I just think there's so many ways he can get over 11 and a half fantasy score. Uh, if we take a look at the uh, actual, let's see, let me go to passing touchdowns. Passing touchdowns, uh, Atlanta is 23rd in passing touchdowns allowed. And then uh, when it comes to passing yards, uh, 19th. So relatively soft matchup. Um, let's look at this over under. Is this an earlier game? Yeah, so 46 and a half point over under Atlanta favored by just three and a half playing in New Orleans. I, I Carr doesn't even have to have like a beast game to cash this. So uh, this is someone who's easily capable of doubling this. Um, so I'm just don't have to overthink this one. I'm taking it for more. I uh, forgot to go to DG for for some of these. Najee's fantasy score is only at 13. Um, okay. So um, they actually don't like the fantasy score. I would not be taking that under. It's just because Prize Picks has it uh, pretty juiced to the over, or uh, pretty you know bumped up pretty high. Uh, they like his receiving yards. Did I miss the rushing yards? Rushing yards. Uh, they don't. They don't like the rushing yards. Go with your gut. What are you gonna do? 
Um, again, 66 and a half on prize picks. Some of these platforms have it down at 63 some at 65. So I think the optimizer is just recognizing that this is the most expensive platform to take this on, but all three of them have this at 66 and a half, and I'm totally comfortable with it. Um, it's just a minus 118, just a 50.09% odds to hit the under. So it's just right on that 50, 50 mark, but <clears throat> I don't see any reason for him not to be able to continue to do what he does when he's knocking on the door of 20 carries. He's playing better than he's played in multiple seasons. This offense looks great. Like there's just no reason for me to not want to take this for more. Um, and and all you have to tell me is like, he's the lead back in Arthur Smith's offense. And it's like, you know, he's going to get his opportunities. Uh, so happy to take that for more. Uh, Derek Carr. Uh, they love his fantasy score to go over on the optimizer 54.94 percent odds to hit the over heavily juiced uh, so minus 121 these other platforms have it in the 13s uh, all of these bet mgm DraftKings, um they're all up at 13.5 13.4 so 11.5 this is just way too low for Derek carr uh, and let's talk about this last play here ray davis um 1.5 receiving yards he needs one catch uh his last game against miami he went for 70 yards um i believe that was let's see on two receptions so it's not like he's heavily involved uh with, with the passing game but he's a very competent pass catcher and as he's been proving that he's going to get more opportunities to do so um indianapolis is actually a pretty tough defense especially up front now that they have a uh, deforest buckner back they look totally different uh, that dude is an absolute beast. Let's make sure we don't have any serious injuries. Uh, DeForest Buckner's changed the identity of this defense. Um, look at how close they uh, they kept that game um, against uh, Houston. Uh, and I mean, I, I just think that it is going to be tough to just straight up run the ball uh, against uh, the Indianapolis Colts. And um, their secondary has been it's just their, their defense has been improving uh so i could picture the reason i want to take this is he i think he could do this on one one catch um but on top of that i could picture it being a little bit tough up front a little bit of pressure on the quarterback and josh allen just dishes it out uh they they have been loving ray davis so i mean he just went for 70 yards on two catches they're going to give him another opportunity to do something uh through the air here uh is my prediction if we take a look at the um the over under here where are you at buffalo here we go 46 and a half point over under buffalo favored by three and a half playing in indianapolis so i'm i'm all for this uh this one's just too simple um if we take a look at the optimizer they love is rushing and receiving yards combined for 26 and a half which is also great uh, but I still, I would rather just take this one catch, essentially 1.5 receiving yards. They have it at a 51.18% odds to hit the over minus 123. Uh, every platform that has this is favoring it to go over, uh, except for this one here is like Pantasia or something like that. Um, they have it at a 50, 50 shot. Uh, but let's take one more look. I'll show you up here, the rushing and receiving combined. If you feel more comfortable with that, take that. He's hit that in four straight games. Uh, but the matchup is still pretty juicy. Uh, 29th in rushing yards allowed, 18th in receiving yards allowed. So you have two options there for Ray Davis. I will probably throw the rushing and receiving in one, but I'll, I'll take more of the receiving because, again, just one catch will get it done. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that pretty much covers all of my plays. If you guys want to check out Outlier, help you make your decisions, just covering all of these different statistical uh, categories. Um, and then you got your matchups. Injury reports are huge. And then they've got this insights about the players. So it's like an insights tab. And it just, they, they, it basically works kind of like the optimizer in the sense that it shows you plays that they think look good, gives you a little note about it. And then you can actually uh, choose the platform uh, that for, for this tab, it's actually showing you which platform they're seeing this line on. And then you literally click the button and um, they've got some sort of partnership with these platforms where it'll let you just lock that in. So you don't have to, you know, go find that prop. It'll just log it in for your, uh, for you on your platform. 
Um, but yeah, if you guys want to try this, you get seven days for free. Just go through um, our link in the description of the video and uh, they're going to let our viewers just try this out because they're confident you're going to love it. So go try it out, use it for a week and uh, see how you like it. All right, Jordy. All right. Yeah. So to get into mine here, um, I've got this Calvin Austin play to start with. I feel great about Calvin Austin. Um, I liked Calvin Austin a lot um, anyway, but now with Russ, he's looked even better. Um, to me, he's kind of like in that Jalen Tolbert area of receiver where it's like he's not, um, you know, quite like the number two, but he is uh, he's he's creeping into that role, I think, a little bit. The dude has uh, definitely been balling um, over the last couple of games, not like to an extreme degree, but he's been getting over this line, this 22 and a half yard line. We're actually getting it at 21 and a half on uh, almost every other platform except underdog. And this is just a super... It looks like it's a pretty easy play to get done here for Calvin. I mean, he's uh, he's getting four targets a game right now since Russ has taken over, and he's cashing about two to three receptions per game. He's at about 1.8 receptions per game, so um, usually in that two range. But this is a guy who's got, like, insanely blazing speed. He's the punt returner. Uh, we saw him return a punt for a touchdown in that game against the Jets. The dude's just a baller. So really like him to go over this line. If he can get you know one to two catches i think this cash is no no problem so liking this line a lot at 21 and a half the matchup's pretty decent 15th in receiving yards allowed to wide receivers uh, it's washington the washington has been getting into massive shootouts lately so that's just kind of what i'm feeling with this play um he is juiced to go over 21 and a half receiving yards and his longest reception at 14 and a half so i feel good about him going over this line um, for sure. So I'm going to be taking that one. Bryce Young, this is just really low is why I'm going for this one. Uh, 11 fantasy score. He almost hit it against the Saints. Um, he did hit it against Denver, who's like one of the best passing defenses in the league. So, um, you know, granted there was uh, no, actually he was playing in that game. I was going to say, I don't think uh, their cornerback was playing. I can't remember his name right now, but he was uh, actually playing in that game. So I do like him to go over this line. I think this is a pretty soft matchup compared to something like Denver um or even the saints and you know marshawn Lattimore is gone now so that changes a lot but um i think this matchup's kind of right in there with uh both of those teams where it's like you know they're not they're definitely not as good as the broncos in passing defense so i like this line a lot i think 11 is really low um passing touchdowns on prize picks count for four so i mean his yards uh for passing yards are juiced to go over at 183 if he gets to 175 passing yards and gets a a, a passing touchdown this is cash so uh, as long as he doesn't go on like a crazy turnover spree, I like this to go over. So 11's low. We're going to be taking that for over. Um, and then to kind of correlate with that play, uh, if we look at the matchup here, the passing yards allowed are, is ninth allowed. So, you know, not not too great for him, but not horrible. 191 is the value. So he should be able to get close to 200, I think, and at least get a passing touchdown. Uh, passing touchdowns, they are um, 25th allowed to passing touchdowns against quarterbacks. So liking what we're seeing there in that that end of the matchup and then to kind of correlate with that play i'm going with jalen coker ever since they've traded uh deontay johnson jalen coker stepped into like honestly it's looking like the number one role xavier Leggett looks really good but i think this jalen coker kid is insane and uh you know there was a lot of high praise about this kid coming out of college steve smith uh called him the best route runner in the draft uh, if you want to take that seriously, you can. I mean, I, I think he's definitely really, really good. Um, he looks a lot like Amari Cooper in his route running. So, dude is a stud. And uh, in his two games that he's really gotten a lot of the work, he went for 17.8 fantasy score against Denver, who is really tough. And they had, um, what's his name, on him for a majority of the game. Uh, can't remember the cornerback's name right now for the Denver Broncos, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, He's like the Patrick Sertan. Yeah, Patrick Sertan. Uh, he's like one of the most locked down corners right now, and he cooked him. So, uh, pretty pretty good matchup coming into this. Um, if we look at the uh, receiving yards here, they are uh, 14th in receiving yards, and they are uh, 16th in receptions allowed. So, I think Jalen Coker's got a good shot of going over five and a half. I mean, if he gets five receptions, he's you know at five points, and if he just goes for some yardage, I mean. I don't think he'll even have to go for five receptions. I think he can go for like two or three. And this guy is really, really snappy. So I think he could honestly score the ball, um, which he did against the Broncos. So 
um, 20th in passing touchdowns to wide receivers. So I, I like him to get in the end zone possibly in this game. So liking this one at five and a half, this is just stupid low. Um, if you like his receiving yards, you can take that at 32 and a half. He's cashed that twice in a row too, but I think the fantasy score is just the better bargain here. Uh, especially because, you know, he did take a handoff in that last game too. So there's always that, that adds on to it as well. So I do like this uh, to go over also. And if you look at Daily Grind, they have this as a 53.41% chance to go over, which is really rare for fantasy scores, honestly. But we're actually getting the deal on uh, prize picks. Every other platform's got this up at 6.5 or 6.9, or almost 7 fantasy scores. So we're getting a huge deal on prize picks. This will probably be gone soon, so try to lock that in for sure if you feel good about it. But uh, yeah, that's going to cover it all for me excuse me uh, we're getting all these on the same platforms by the way as i discussed earlier so that's going to cover it all for me if you guys want to check out this optimizer from daily grind you can see if i take away coker there you can see all the top plays this is what it does it helps you build out the best slips um and it gives you the best value right at the top here so you can you know look take a look at the board and it's kind of like a shopping menu you just take what you like do some research behind it and if you like what you're seeing go with it um and you know it just helps you be a little bit faster um you can do your own research obviously but this just helps you with like the value and quickly finding it and everything so the optimizer is awesome they have a couple different tools on here but whatever tool you want to go with um, if you use code backdoor at checkout um, you will get 25% off of your first purchase with daily grind on whatever tool you would like to lock in or you can lock them all in they have a bunch of different packages for that so definitely go check them out it's a lot of fun to use and uh, it definitely helps you cash a lot more so and then uh, chalkboard chalkboards like another daily fantasy app like prize picks or underdog but they're gonna uh, they have a lot of alt lines over there so they've got they run a whole bunch of alt lines for like every type of play like rushing yards receiving yards whatever it may be but they run the most specials out of any other platform i've ever seen um they run like six to ten specials a day um sometimes they run like six specials per sport i've seen them where they've had six for the nba six for mlb six for uh you know the nfl so it's a lot of fun definitely go check them out they run a ton over there um it just kind of varies on what's going on so if you guys want to check them out use code backdoor and they'll give you a hundred percent match up to a hundred dollars and they'll give you a free play to help you cash your first slip over there so that's going to cover it all for me over here all right just to be sure you took calvin austin receiving yards right yes love it i i'm just locked i locked in that whole six man Sweet. um just uh shared it to the discord pardon me i have to tag everybody in that because i forgot to <laughs> um, you know, you're talking about Steve Smith and you're like, if you like to take his advice and it's like, you better take Steve Smith's advice. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what Steve are we Smith. talking about? <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, that is one of the, like, he should be a recruiter. Um, yeah. he called another NFL wide receiver, the best route runner coming into the draft one year and people literally we're trolling him on it. You know who that player was? Cooper Cup. Yeah. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw Cooper Cup coming in and Steve Smith was raving about him. And yeah. people were like, anyways, I love that dude. Yeah. He's, <laughs> Steve he's Smith awesome. knows what's up. Um, all right. So if you guys want to come join our Discord, you can do two things. You can sign up for Parlay Play and get a deposit match and get 30 days in the Discord. Uh, just if you use code backdoor, or you can just go through Patreon. Again, I got a shout out. I got a shout out. Uh, Cell Beats. <laughs> I just love that dude. And uh, he's been killing it on FanDuel lately. But uh, we work together as a community. So we build out plays. We share our plays together. If, if someone uh, comes into a play that they like, the whole community gets to reap the benefits. Shout out Bobby. Shout out Straw Hats. Like um, all of our guys in here, man, we work together. And uh, it's just a fun community. And we, we uh, enjoy the slates together. We build out second half slips together. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. So come join us. Um, if you do use Parlay Play, awesome. That's a great way to support us and get yourself a little bonus there. Uh, 30 days in the Discord. But uh, if you want to skip that, you can just sign up through Patreon. Once you sign up through Patreon, they just manage our subscriptions. Um, so you go into the settings, you go to connected apps in the menu bar, and then you sign into your Discord right from there. Uh, if you do, make sure you hop in the community chat and let us know you're new. You don't have to, but we like to get to know everybody. So um, the whole family will welcome you and we'll make sure you understand how to use everything, get the most value 
uh, there. And then uh, if you want to follow us on X, um, all right, no political stuff this time. Um, <laughs> it's just at Backdoor FS. You can follow us on X, Instagram, TikTok, and um, we're on all of those platforms. It's just at Backdoor FS. You can follow Jory. You can follow me. You can follow Moose, our other analyst who's in our Discord, super active. Moose posts plays every day on X. Um, Jordy and I are getting more active with posting plays to X to just bonus plays. Uh, we just, I don't have to tell you again, we've been super busy, but, um, but yeah, come follow us. Uh, have a great weekend guys. Enjoy this Sunday slate. We will catch you later tonight for the NBA video for tomorrow. Um, but we appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you and, uh, have a great rest of your weekend. Good luck guys.